Wanderers, today we're talking cruises, specifically expedition cruises. We're sailing in Alaska with Uncruise Adventures, the small ship expedition experts. So what exactly is an expedition cruise? Well, it's all about getting out there and immersing yourself in your destination. In Alaska, that means things like bushwhacking, kayaking, wildlife encounters, hiking, paddle boarding, and skiff rides. Our adventures all start from the comfort of this beauty, the Wilderness Legacy, outfitted for all our expedition needs. Today we're bushwhacking. It's like hiking, but without a trail. We board our skiff, which quickly takes us to shore. As we step onto the beach, our bushwhack officially begins with our guide Dawn teaching us about edible plants, which we eagerly taste. Some are to our liking, others are not. As we enter the forest, it's a steep climb until we emerge into a large open area. Dawn says we're standing on a muskeg, a peat bog layered with water and spongy moss. As we wind our way through the forest, we stop to admire the small details while Dawn shares her signature moose call. Hey, moose! <laughs> okay, here's the real one. Part of the fun of bushwhacking is blazing your own trail through all kinds of landscapes. It could be grass, sand, or sticky mud. You might go up, or you might go down. You never know what's around the corner. Percussive woodpecker rhythms, anyone? Or is finding bear prints more your fancy? One thing's for sure, you'll definitely feel intensely connected to the power of nature. Knowledgeable guides like Jesse point out interesting species. Did you know it's considered good luck to kiss a banana slug? The Alaskan wilderness is vast and feels beautifully untarnished. When you're bushwhacking, you can't help but wonder if you're the first person to ever walk these hills or come across hidden ponds like this, surrounded by stretching pines. We take pictures, but we don't forget to live in the moment, too. There aren't many places left on Earth that feel like this. There was a beaver here. We continue our journey and soon learn who in the group is a letter goer or a holder honor. We're talking about branches, of course. Remember to keep some distance from the person in front of you so you don't get whacked. We found out quickly that you have to be ready for anything when bushwhacking. And sometimes it's rough work when you're soaked through with cold Alaskan rain. But the adventure is worth it, trust me. Our next adventure takes us out on the water. Meet the Sea Dragon, the Legacy's custom-designed kayak and skiff launcher. When not in use, this safe and easy-to-board platform is simply towed behind the ship until the next anchor drop. Today we push off from the Legacy in a tandem sea kayak to explore the shoreline and hopefully see some wildlife. We slowly drift by a sea cliff covered in barnacles at low tide. Another day, we paddle past waterfalls that run down the mountainsides in Glacier Bay National Park. Soon we round the bend to the highlight of our kayak excursion, Lamplu Glacier. Its icy blues a radiant contrast from the surrounding snow-capped mountains. One afternoon, the expedition staff informed us that there would be an open paddle session. And by paddle, I mean paddle boarding. 
I didn't think my first time paddleboarding would be in the waters of southeast Alaska, but I'm not one to turn down a new opportunity. After a quick lesson from the crew, I was up and exploring the small inlet. After about 45 minutes of successfully keeping my balance, it was back to the ship with another memorable uncruise experience under my belt. And speaking of memorable uncruise experiences, it's Polar Plunge time! I mean, who hasn't wanted to jump into the shockingly cold waters of Glacier Bay? This chilly, uncruised tradition felt like a sort of rite of passage, bonding together passengers and crew alike. Wildlife sightings on uncruised sailings are a main attraction. In our week aboard the Legacy, we saw bald eagles, dolls' porpoises, stellar sea lions, brown bears, puffins, and otters, just to name a few. We'll let the video speak for itself. One thing we had desperately hoped to spot were humpback whales. Kelly has always loved whales, but before this trip had never seen one in real life. We were not disappointed, spotting humpbacks almost every night. We were both ecstatic when we came across one breaching. Oh my god, he's in the... Wow! Wow! You'll find that expedition ships are generally smaller, which means they can travel to places that other larger ships cannot. On this day, we admired Marjorie Glacier up close and even witnessed a large ice calving. The sudden amount of ice fall even made our ship pitch on the subsequent wave. This is why you don't kayak near tide water glaciers. Just be aware there's a fairly large wave coming our way. During our time sailing in Glacier Bay, we had the opportunity to come ashore to spend an evening in Bartlett Cove. We visited the Huna Tribal House, a clan house for the Klingit people, the area's indigenous tribe. Afterward, we walked the forest trail, where our guide Bobby taught us about the various flora and fauna and how to identify various wildlife prints. In easy one-mile loop, the walk takes you through the spruce and hemlock-filled temperate rainforest. The most exciting moment came when our group was surprised by a porcupine crossing the road.
Then it was back to the ship as the sun set on another incredible day in the Alaskan wilderness. One morning, an exceptionally low tide provided a special opportunity to explore a world usually hidden beneath the water. Today we are in Nika Bay and the tide is especially low this morning. So we are exploring the intertidal ecosystem. As with most on cruise expedition guides, Bobby's vast knowledge of all things Alaska meant that we had an extraordinarily enjoyable morning learning about hermit crabs, sea stars, anemones, and more. He encouraged us to carefully lift rocks to see what new creatures we could find underneath. And here we have a sea urchin. You can see the underside, that's its mouth. Ooh, it's opening up. Yeah. Can I eat you? Mm. What is happening? We were like giddy school children, always seeking out a new critter in the next tide pool. It was the epitome of an uncruise adventure. Hands-on learning, a shared and unforgettable experience, and of course, a great time all rolled into one. Before we knew it, the tide was back up and our unique shore walk had come to an end. So what do you think? Is expedition cruising right for you? Let us know in the comments section below. We're so happy you've taken the time to watch our video. Your support means the world to us. As always, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching us wander. wander.